Well, next up is a super boring story. The City Rail Link Project's latest worker has arrived in Auckland. A multi-million dollar boring machine that can gnaw through 32 metres of ground every day. Named after Māori rights champion Dame Fina Cooper, the towering tunnel maker was unveiled in Mount Eden this morning. Our reporter Katie Todd and visual journalist Simon Rogers was there. Unboxed, rebuilt and blessed. It's the $13.5 million piece of custom-made equipment created in Germany and China that's soon set to slice two underground train tunnels and the travel times of Auckland's traffic-weary residents. This machine is just going to do remarkable things. Uh, 3.2 kilometres uh, of tunnelling over the next two years, working 24-7, no rest for the tunnel boring machine and it will displace up to 1,500 tonnes of soil and rock a day. Mayor Phil Goff's excitement shared by a keen crowd of City Rail Link workers, councillors, iwi and politicians who gathered in Mount Eden this morning for a glimpse. It's tradition every big tunnel boring machine, or TBM, gets a powerful woman's name. This one, thanks to internet voters, bears the name of the Māori rights champion Dame Fina Cooper, who led Māori land protesters on a hikoi from Te Hapua to Parliament. Her daughter Henirangi Cooper commends the naming as a brave choice and says City Rail Link workers can feel reassured in Dame Fina's company. She's a bit like Moses, you know, in the Old Testament. When they said, oh, you know, he's going to go through the, the sea and open up the sea and the people will walk. That's what she's doing. Deputy Prime Minister Grant Robertson says Dame Fina's spirit is reflected in both the mana of the machine and what it will achieve for the city. Infrastructure projects are about reducing congestion so people can move around more. They can be pick up Dame Fina's spirit of being a businesswoman, a farmer. But they're also about the way we think about our communities. They bring our communities together. Behind me is just the front section of the machine, which will be 130 metres long in total, weighing 910 tonnes. In April, it will disappear under the ground in Auckland, and it won't emerge until late 2021. The remaining parts of the boring machine will be built over the next four months. Work is also underway to build the first 50 metres of the tunnel from Mount Eden, so the fully assembled machine can be slotted in and set off on its big underground journey. Transport Minister Michael Wood says the City Rail Link shows what can happen when mana whenua and local and central government all work together. I'm also very pleased about the role that projects like this play in our rebuild from COVID-19, providing real jobs and opportunities for thousands of Aucklanders through the construction of this project. 5,000 members of the public have snapped up tickets to see Dame Fina Cooper this Sunday at a boring day out. The City Rail Link is due for completion in 2024. For Checkpoint, call Katie Todd, TNA.